Hi there, it's Sena Carlucci. Um, thanks for purchasing my small fairy dust box from me. And uh, what this is about is this is just a uh, unpackaging uh, uh, video just so that you can see and do um, a proper uh, unpackaging for uh, this box. Uh, it's uh, wrapped pretty good uh, for protection of the glass and the components inside. Uh, and I'm going to give you um, some uh, close-ups of uh, the inside of it uh, as we go further and further into uh, uh, putting this box into an operational state. Uh, so when you get the box, um, there should be some various packaging, uh, newspapers, newspaper wrapping, protection, cushioning. Of course, the, uh, the box itself will be in a plastic bag, and the, uh, the battery pack is wrapped separately. And, uh, and if you purchase the uh, protective covers, uh, they'll be in the box, uh, box as well. So uh, we'll uh, discuss that as we uh, finish up on the installation. Um, so you're going to just need a pair of scissors. Uh, I recommend that you use a pair of scissors just because um, it just takes a lot more stress away from uh, having to deal with all the, uh, the tight connections and the tight uh, fittings that I have in place. So just take your scissors and just cut at the, uh, cut at the knot and that should expose the inside of the bag with the box inside. And, uh, You'll see that the box is got a rubber band around it because I wanted to keep the contents of uh, the packaging inside as tight as I could. Again, just take your scissors and tr instead of trying to pull off the rubber band because the rubber band potentially could pull off the feet on the bottom of the, the box, just cut the rubber band and that will uh, free up the contents to be unpacked inside. The box itself, it's a fragile box. Um, it's not meant for uh, heavy duty use. Uh, there's uh, handles on the side of the box and that should be the only way that this box is operated and, and used with the handles that I provided on the side. Um, the, the small uh, hinges and, the, and all the little components on here that are metal are all with uh, very small screws and very easily damaged. Um, so I want you to protect the, uh, the box itself as best, I, best you can uh, by uh, just using the handles, not using the lid as a handle um, because the, uh, the components on the uh, hinges can be broken very easily. But uh, take the newspaper out of the top of the box. <clears throat> You'll see that the fabric itself is on top of the bottles and the fabric is is um, covering the the protective parts that are inside the, where the bottles are. Um, this is all newspaper and bubble wrap and gently gently pull out all of the newspaper and bubble wrap and I would hold on to this bubble wrap and newspaper because if you're going to be traveling with the box, you're probably going to wrap this box the same way so that you can have a protected box. Um, we have found, <laughs> thank you, uh, Stephen Gillum and uh, Leon McBride uh, for the feedback. Uh, we had some broken bottles because I didn't pa properly package them. So um, they will break because of the, the, uh, the location or where they are, they'll actually hit each other uh, during um, a, a rough kind of uh, movement. So uh, I would use newspaper and bubble wrap to protect the bottles inside. So once you have those removed, and the garland, the little garland is in there as well, uh, you'll see that the bottles themselves are, should be glued in place. And um, for the Santas that have um, asked for removable uh, tops, uh, yours will be taped shut 
and uh, you would gently take that blue tape off and find that the, the, the tops are fairly snug uh, the first time that you try to pull them off. They can be pulled off. There's a little bit of tacky glue on the inside rim of all the connect on all the tops and that should allow you to um, be able to uh, put the not the tops back on but be able to take them back off and put them on repeatedly. I have a special glue there that uh, allows that to happen. So the next thing would, that need, you need to do is um, unpack the power supply, the, the battery pack. The battery pack has been already loaded with the batteries. They, they come fully loaded. There's eight AA batteries inside and um, there is a, a small switch here that I wanted you to, sh wanted you to see. Uh, there's a switch on the pack and there's an on-off switch. This on-off switch allows the batteries, uh, the lights to come on through the use of the extra magic switch that's on the bottom of the box. On the bottom of the box, in the lower, in the back, you would be able to feel a little dimple, a little nipple kind of um, expression. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I can feel it there. And you should be able to push it and pu push it again, and it will activate and deactivate the lights based on this switch here being in the on position. I would recommend that you leave it in the off position whenever you are finished with your gig, whenever you are finished with your use of the box for an extended period of time. The reason why I say that is inadvertently the, the switch on the bottom can be depressed without you knowing it. You won't know that the lights are on and you'll drain your battery. And so when you go to use it again, there won't be any lights going on and you'll say what's going on and you find out that sure enough, uh, the, uh, the batteries have been uh, drained down because of the fact that the switch was enabled. So if you disable this switch, the lights can never come on. Of course, you got to make sure that the switch is on before you go back out and try to do your presentation with the box. So, uh, very simply, the, um, the connection here, I've made the connection into a little 9-volt connection. It's not 9 volts, it's actually 12 volts in there. Um, but the physical connection that's inside is right on the inside of the box. In the back in the lower back hand corner and so all you have to do is made up the two connections and once it's connected let's see here yeah once it's connected you'll be able to put the battery into the box and um, we'll show you how to hide that battery so just give me a second here Okay, that's connected and then all you have to do is gently place the battery pack into the slot behind the lights or behind the bottles. Once you do that, flip the switch into the on position, depress the bottom switch. <laughs> Oh, hey, we're back. Um, <laughs> sorry, I, I had a little technical difficulty here. Um, but the, um, what was I going, oh, that when you put the batteries in and you turn that switch on, uh, you've got to just verify that everything is operational and that you should be able to depress that switch on the bottom now and have that switch be working. And like I said, if you turn the switch in the off position, no matter what happens to that switch now on the bottom by me depressing it, uh, it doesn't operate the light. So all I want to do is verify that that's a function that's working, that looks good. So then after that, it's nothing more than um, putting the fabric and the uh, tinsel into the operation uh, inside the box. So um, again, gently uh, making sure that you do not uh, damage the uh, 
the bottles and all you got to do is take the fabric and push it over inside you can see how I've placed it over the battery it should fab the fabric should hide all that there and um, using your fingers just push all the fabric inside the bottle area and then grab the little bit of a tinsel and do your best to decorate the uh, the inside of the the bottle area uh, any which way you want to um, it doesn't matter it's going to be um, an, an illusion anyway so I like to uh, make it so that the bottles uh, look like they're very nicely wrapped and let's see if the oh yes yeah, there there we see you can see that the the tinsel is up in front like that so then you would proceed to go through your procedure and, and your process of describing what the bottles do or whatever you're going to use the box for um, and then uh, close the box um, and again closing the box it's going to be a tight fit for some of these connections. Um, you know, it's it's not the mo they're not the most expensive connections I could find, but they uh, they do the job. Um, oh, there's the other problem. Yes, there is a problem. Um, whenever you put this fabric in, make sure that all the fabric is inside of the of the inside of the box uh, because. If there's uh, fabric hanging out outside the box, it can keep the box from closing properly and put a lot of strain on the catch, and the catch won't work properly. Uh, you can see now that that's the catch is finished and uh, fixed. So that's about it. There's nothing else to to do. You know, you go through your your process of uh, finishing the box, and so finally. Um, what I wanted to show was the ability for you to put the box into the protective case. That's simply a, there's a zipper. Now, the what I found by, by accident was that this material is very slippery. And the box finish is very slippery. So you have to hold on to it very, very securely and work with it so that it doesn't fall out of your hands. Um, it's just an oversight on my part that I didn't think that the material was going to be uh, that, uh, that slippery, but um, it is. It's a very slippery uh, microfiber kind of a fabric. Uh, but that's your, that's your box, how you would display your box before the, the children ever see what's in it. So that's the drama of the extra um, fabric and the extra uh, case that comes with the uh, box. Uh, like I said, that was up to you whether you wanted to purchase that or not. Uh, if you get a brown box, you get a brown bag. And so uh, those are the, uh, the two options that I offered you. So uh, I can't think of anything else that uh, you need to do uh, to make the box operational. Um, all I do is I say to you that you probably want to keep some of the bubble wrap or uh, use whatever else you think is, is appropriate uh, in between the bottles and above the bottles uh, for transportation. Um, if, if you leave the box the way it is right now, it, it could potentially get damaged because the box can be jammed on its side, and when the, it jams a little bit, the bottles can touch each other, and they can crack. Um, so it's, a, it's, it's the nature of the beast, if you say. So always put some kind of protection in there. Uh, even cardboard is, is uh, some kind of uh, soft cardboard would be sufficient to uh, protect the bottles from uh, hitting the sides of the box and hitting each other in, the, in transportation. Uh, don't overlook the switch for the battery. 
personally, I think um, uh, most of the sanders I've talked to are probably going to switch out the batteries for uh, rechargeable batteries. It makes sense that you would do that and save some money that way. Um, I don't have a feeling as to how long the batteries can uh, work uh, to keep that uh, eliminated for how long. Uh, but it should be quite a, way, uh, quite a while based on uh, LED technology. That's what's in the bottom of these bottles is the LEDs. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching the video. Uh, get back to me through uh, email and uh, texting. Uh, I'll put my information in the, in the video here about uh, where you, how you can get in touch with me. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you in the future. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.